Thank mm -hmm. you.
Okay, welcome back. That was hiking 20 miles on the Mount Whitney Trail, summiting Mount Whitney, uh, the highest point in the US other than Alaska. This is the route that I took, and I'm gonna talk all about you know the different parts of the trip, starting with how I got to the trail in the first place. I flew from New York all the way to Las Vegas, and it was the biggest airport close to Lone Pine, but it was still a four hour drive through the desert, through Death Valley National Park, over to a small town called Lone Pine. In town, I got some dinner at the Mount Whitney restaurant, has good burgers. I stayed at the Mount Whitney Motel, two-star hotel, only like, you know, less than $100 per night, very cheap and easy. And I went to Elevation Sierra Adventure, which is a great store for hikers, has everything you might need, food, supplies, including bear can rentals. There are bears in these mountains and you're required to protect your food to protect the bears. So I rented that for two days. Coming from sea level in New York was definitely a disadvantage because the altitude above you know, 13,000 feet is gonna hit you a lot harder than coming from somewhere else like in Colorado. So my plan was to spend the night halfway up the mountain and then summit the next morning just to get used to the altitude a little bit. I also decided to do this trip before May 1st, which is the cutoff, I guess the start of the hiking season because there's a lottery system and you're not guaranteed availability to hike on the mountain after that. So before May 1st, all I had to do was reserve a backcountry campsite on recreation.gov. I booked one night up here at trail camp and then sent an email to a ranger. They certified the entrance exit point where I was camping, spending the night, made sure I was, you know, knew all the rules as far as the bear can and pack out, leave no trace, etc. I printed that permit out and brought it with me for the hike. The area is wilderness, so no drones allowed, and it's actually touching Sequoia National Park, so you know, all of this land is protected and you do need a permit for day and overnight hiking, which is, you know, different. It's unusual to need a permit for day hikes, but this is so popular that it's required. On the first day of the hike, I actually took my time. Woke up, went over to the Alabama Hills and got some drone shots. The Alabama Hills are famous because of scenes like this from Iron Man. Yeah, technically I was hiking where he just bombed. <laughs> but once I was ready, around probably 9 a.m., I made my way up to the Whitney portal camped my car and started the hike. Even though it was pretty much a staircase up, 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 day one was pretty easy. I got a late start and then I had the entire day just to get to trail camp. I think I got there like around noon or one o'clock and then had plenty of time to just relax and get used to the altitude, eat, drink. And uh, I think I slept like 12 or 13 hours. Day two is going to be much harder. And uh, right before me, you can see all of these switchbacks. This is pretty famous. I guess people call this the 100 switchbacks. I didn't, I didn't count them, but it definitely felt like 100. I was wearing micro spikes. Some people were wearing crampons and I feel like that was probably overkill. Uh, it totally depends on whether there were snowstorms, the snow level for that year. So, you know, before May 1st, you have to be prepared for the cold, for the snow. And these, this trail area might actually be snowed in because I know some people just go up this slope right here with like ice axes and whatnot if this is impassable. Up over the saddle, along the backside of the ridge here, 
As soon as you get to this section, it completely changes. It's so smooth and different compared to the steep, jagged drop off on this side. It was is really cool. And you know, looking back and taking photos of these like sawtooths from this angle, it was really cool. Once you start to come up on this last point here, this section takes forever. There's definitely like uh you know, a false summit for the last hour here. Some really crazy views, just 360 all the way around. After the top, around one or two o'clock, I made it back down to trail camp and then spent the next two or three hours just kind of huffing all the way back down to my car. And I reached that at around six o'clock, I believe. Made the drive back into town, got some food, stayed at a hotel, got a nice shower, and then drove back the next day to Las Vegas. So just a quick four day trip, really in and out, but I still feel like I got, you know, a true experience of Whitney. <laughs> if you're thinking about doing this hike, I would say you should have some experience before. Uh, most people, especially at the switchbacks, if there's snow, it's gonna require some patience. You, know, you wanna be a little bit more careful with how you step because some of the edges are pretty steep. And if you fall, you might be falling for a little while. <laughs> before May 1st, you definitely have to bring some thermal, some, some really warm stuff if you're gonna be spending the night up high at this elevation. I had all of my jackets, you know, my warm sleeping bag, uh, hot hands thrown into the foot box to keep my feet warm, and I was still pretty cold that night. I shot this video on the A7S Mark III with the standard picture profile that the camera comes with, and I thought everything looked great. I felt like I was able to expose with the bright sunlight pretty easily for this one. Felt pretty good. You can see my full gear kit on craigadams.com. And I also posted some Instagram photos from the trip. You can follow me at Craig Adams there. I've got some Instagram stories as well. And I'm actually moving in like a week, so this might be the last video with this background. And I'm trying to decide if I can bring the fireplace, if there's a place for it in the new apartment. So fingers crossed we still have the fake fireplace. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. 22 pounds plus the camera. It's pretty light. It's an overnight though. So, oh, it feels good to be out here. Don't cut the switchbacks. This is lovely. Fighter jets all around. First patch of snow. Okay, well that explains the noise I've been hearing. Okay, it's really pretty. <sighs> still feel good. <sighs> Getting hungry. I think this is the alpine zone. Beastie boys, intergalactic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's not good shit, bro. Oh. Altitude. Uh. Again up there. It's a beef breakfast, boy. Good crampons. What's up, dude? I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> yeah, clearly you are. <laughs> yeah. You're taking it slow. Yeah. I kicked you some big steps through here, so should be pretty good. Cool.